Hey guys, so today I made a video on how you can recreate or on how to do this cut crease eyeshadow look. It's kind of a coppery bronze look. Um, throughout this video, you will see that the lighting, ow, you will see that the lighting changes. That's because right when I started filming this video, the sun decided to go down. So I moved from natural lighting to my little ring light that I have right here. So I'm sorry about that. I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup video on how to do this look. And yeah, so let's get started with the video. So I already applied my primer and I just put the Bare Minerals Primetime Original Foundation Primer all over my face and now I'm just going to put my hair back. I have a mirror down here so if I'm looking down here it's because I have a mirror down here. So I'm just going to put my hair back so it's out of my way. I lost my train of thought. Well, I'm going to let my primer set. I'm going to do my eyebrows. So to do my eyebrows, I'm just going to... I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in the color Chocolate. For brush, I'm going to be... I'm just going to be using the Anastasia Eyebrow Brush. And so I'm just going to be doing my eyebrows how I normally do them. Um, but yeah. And then I just get the other end, the brush side, and I brush them out to further blend the two colors together. And yeah, so now I'm just going to do the same thing to my other eyebrow. Now that I did my eyebrows, I'm going to conceal them. I'm just going to be using the Shape Tape Concealer and my concealer brush. And I'm sorry if the lighting is like changing throughout the video. I'm using the natural lighting from outside my window and the sun's going down. So now that both of my eyebrows are con uh, are concealed I'm going to apply foundation but right before I do I don't know if you guys can really see I'm having a lot of acne problems so I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and kind of mar um, mark up cover up those um, little spots it's gonna be good for my skin probably not but it's okay as long as I wash it off at night I should be good um it's a little later hence why the lighting might look different i turned on my little ring light hopefully it makes the lighting a little better but bitch i got pizza and i got a jarrito so it's all good so for foundation i'm going to be using the Too faced born this way foundation and this well i am in the color golden and i really really like this foundation I'm going to be applying concealer and I'm just going to be using the same concealer. And since we're doing like a full um, glam look, I'm going to highlight. I don't always do this, but I'm just going to do it today. Okay, not to set all of my face as well as um, doing a little bit of baking. I'm gonna be using the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder and um, here's the one. So first, I'm just gonna get a bit. 
big fluffy brush like this and kind of just set all of my face up first with powder. Alright, so I set all of my face and now I'm going to be baking. Oh, I effed up. I was going to cream contour, but now I can't because I already set my face. Um, now I'm just going to be baking a little bit under my eyes. Um, I was going to cream contour my face and like cut out my face because this is like a full glam um, makeup look, but I completely forgot and I already set my face and you can't mix a powder and a cream together. So I'm just going to be getting my beauty blender and I'm going to be getting some more of that powder and just setting my under eyes. Wow, I look great. So I'm just gonna let that set in my face or bake um, for a few minutes while I do my eyeshadow. So starting with my eyeshadow, I'm going to be getting my Morphe um, 25A palette. So I'm going to be going into this kind of caramelly color, but in person it looks like it has a slight uh, little green undertone. I'm just going to be taking my fluffy brush and picking that up and I'm going to be blending that into my crease. And since I am doing a cut crease, I'm going to, or well, a half cut crease, I'm going to be taking my eyeshadow a little bit higher than I normally would, and you'll see why later on. Okay, now I've blended that color on both of my eyelids and my pieces. Now I'm going to, I'm going to be moving into, and I'm sorry, this palette's very dirty, but I'm going to be going into my ColourPop QAF palette, and I'm going to be going into this kind of, this light brown kind of mocha color, or that's not really mocha, mocha is dark, right? I don't know. Kind of reminds me of chocolate milk too, but this kind of chocolatey brown color, I'm going to be taking a kind of angled uh, fluffy brush. I'm mostly going to be putting this color in my outer corner. So I have the color on both of my eyelids and like I said, I just applied it to my outer corner and I kind of gave it a little winged out look because later on I'm going to clean that up with concealer and really give it a sharp look now going into the same color pop palette i'm going to be going into this orange right here i'm going to be going in with a more smaller precise blending brush because i kind of just want to bring this up on the top a little bit to blend it in with that first kind of light brown greenish greenish color we put so i'm mostly just going to be focusing that on top right here so i'm going to be building that in little by little and then going back in with the first fluffy brush i use i'm just going to blend it a little more Okay, and there you go. It's a very subtle orange, but it is still there, and I just really like how it makes this eyeshadow look. Now I'm going to cut my crease, so I'm gonna, but I'm going to be taking the same concealer I've been using throughout this whole video, and I'm going to be taking. So I'm just going to be taking the same concealer brush I used to clean up my eyebrows, and I'm going to cut my crease. I'm, so since as you can see if i actually cut my crease where my crease actually stops when i open my eyes and i look forward you're not going to be able to really see that sharp line or that cut of the line so what i do is i actually go higher than my actual crease which is why i brought the eyeshadow a little higher than i normally would so you can still see the eyeshadow in the back so So what I start off by doing first is I kind of just as an outline 
do regularly where my crease would be normally and so it would be about there see how you can't really see the line unless I go like this so from here I'm going to be getting more concealer and I'm going to be bringing it up high So about right there see how when I look straight you can still see the cut well my crease and the concealer where I cut that's what you want so now I'm just gonna fill in the concealer I'm going to take off some excess because I don't want it to like cake on my face I'm just gonna blend out what I have here because I have quite a few bit already and then once I get right here I'm going to very roughly blend it out because I don't want it to be a straight line because when I apply the eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting on my outer corner um, I want them to blend together so it looks like it's fading from one color to another I just don't want it to be a straight line down so I um, put concealer on both of my eyelids and this is what they look like this is what the cut crease looks like now i'm going into my sleek eyeshadow palette and this is the when the sun goes down eyeshadow palette i'm going to be going into this corner color right here it's a coppery metallic kind of eyeshadow i'm just going to be going in with a flat eyeshadow brush and brush and i'm just going to be applying that everywhere i just applied my And then as I get to like the middle right here, I'm just going to lightly apply it and also apply it the most random I can so I don't have a straight line going down. Now that I finished putting that eyeshadow all over my lid, I'm going to be going back into the ColourPop palette and I'm going to be going into a very dark, brown kind of plummy undertone um eyeshadow and i'm just going to be applying that all over my outer corner to really pack it in i'm just going to be going in with an eyeshadow a flat eyeshadow brush first just to pack it in and then i'll go back in with a fluffy uh brush to blend it out so then i'm going to be getting a fluffy eyeshadow brush and Of going back into my morphe palette well, i'm going to be going into this dark brown right here i'm going back in with that fluffy brush and i'm just going to blend out this harsh line that i have right here on the top And then going into the other dark brown color that was next to it, I'm going to be putting that in my outer corner. Alright, now that I have the eyeshadow on both eyes, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and I'm going to be using this light kind of peachy color. And I'm just going to be putting that on my brow bone. Right. Alright, now that I've um, highlighted my brow bones and everything, I'm going to be taking a break from my eyes. And I'm going to finally take off this big... the rest of my face so I'm going to be bronzing my face and I'm going to be bronzing it with the Hula bronzer and I'm just going to go a little bit I'm just going to be getting a fluffy angled brush now moving on to blush for blush I'm going to be using the tart blush in the color party all right now going back into my eyes i'm actually going to be doing 
eyeliner. So let's see how this goes. So I'm just going to be doing my eyeliner off the camera and then I'll be back. Alright, so I did my eyeliner. Does it look good? I don't know. So now I'm going to be putting on my falsies. So for my lashes, I'm first going to prep them by curling them. So I'm just going to be curling my natural lashes. And then for lashes today, I'm going to be putting the Ardell lashes they're backwards and these are the mega volume lashes i'm going to be using these really really sharp tweezers these are actually for eyelash extensions but i love to put on my fake lashes with these put my eyelashes on and I actually haven't put these lashes on in a while and I forgot how nice they are so now I'm just going to be applying eyeshadow on my lower lash line so first I'm going to be going in to my um, color pop palette and I'm going to be going back into the orange and I'm just going to be applying that all over under my eye I want to kind of give myself a wing with that orange right under my eyeliner wing so let's see how that goes all right so that's what it looks like I'm actually really liking how this is looking now with that same brush I'm going to be going into that dark um, brown and I'm just going to be putting it in my outer corner to give it a kind of smoky look. Alright, so that's what that looks like. I actually really like how it looks with the eyeshadow going out towards where the wing is. Now I'm just going to be applying mascara and the mascara I'm going to be applying is the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline and I'm just going to be applying that on my top lashes to blend my natural lashes with the falsies and then to my bottom lashes. Now the last thing I need is highlight and I think I'm done. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm going to be using my Becca highlighter as well as my You Glow Girl highlighter. So the Becca highlighter I'm going to be using is the Opal highlighter and I'm just going to be getting a little highlight brush and I'm just going to be applying that everywhere where I would apply a highlighter. Then I'm gonna go in with the You Glow Girl highlighter and this is in the color Twilight and I'm just going to be applying that everywhere where I just applied the Becca highlighter. And then I'm gonna be getting my pinky and going into that same highlighter and I'm just going to be applying that in my inner I really don't like lipstick that much anymore so I don't really own that many lipsticks and I don't own a lipstick that would go good with this eyeshadow color so I'm just going to be applying lip gloss it's what I would not normally do I either apply lip gloss or lip balm, lip balm but it's very rare when I use lipstick so I'm just going to take in some lip gloss Alright, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look that I showed you guys how to create. It's um, a cut crease, coppery kind of look. I hope you guys... I have a booger in my nose. Wow, how that happens all the time. But yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this makeup look. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.